So I'm trying to ask my question, what is it that we're not doing right mm -hmm. in our sensitization, in our awareness raising, what is it that we're not doing? Because the, the, the levels of ignorance in certain issues is quite very, very high. But here we are, we're spending a lot of money in awareness raising, awareness, you know, printing t-shirts, printing brochures, printing all this a lot of money, trying to disseminate information. The question is still arising, yes. What is it that we're not doing? Okay. Okay? okay. Because even if we are going to look at those issues there, uh -huh. fine. But the question is, are we really in the right track? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think the, the response that we'll be getting by looking at issues as specific as that now, will be saying, okay, if we're not getting the right response, okay, all these campaign programs, how do we disseminate, how do we now do the actual implementation. We printed t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Who did we want to wear those t-shirts? Mm -hmm. Is it the kids? Uh, I'm just using an example. Huh? Mm -hmm. Is it the kids? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, yeah? Is it the kids, or is it us, the implementers? Is it really that one of uh, um, education and also um, awareness uh, raising? Mobilization of stakeholders at the grassroots levels is key in the fight of the waste forms of child labor. The non-governmental organizations in Zambia have since taken various platforms to address child labor problems. Uh, the establishment of child labor committees seems to be on course and uh, however their sustainability will play an important role in securing mobilization of affected communities and therefore further capacity building is required to the committees. And I think, first of all, I think we should just open the floor to reactions to their findings. If there is anything in what Namwinga and Lee has presented now as their preliminary findings, I don't think that it's, we have adequate time to really you know, mobilize and give adequate capacity to the communities. For instance, uh, JCM is, uh, has gone to rural areas. These are places who have never heard about child labor. So you are starting from the scratch. So that you know, we require a bit more time you know, for us to really mobilize and strengthen uh, the community. I also wanted to mention on the linkages of child labor with other cross-cutting issues of HIV AIDS, poverty and food security. You know, when we go into these communities, although you have gone to do child labor, you have no choice but to end up also dealing with other issues. So that from inception, we should, you know, design our programs in such a way that we also have to touch these other areas. Um. It's not good that we, we start hearing things when we have external consultants. That's when we start knowing what is happening in, in, in other uh, groupings. The, pro the, 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 the process is too long. I hear you have to go into first the, 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 what? the project proposal has to be done here in Zambia, goes to Tanzania, and go to another place before it, it reaches uh, uh, the river. And I would also appreciate that we have more interaction among ourselves who are working in the communities so that we unify what we are giving out into the communities. So I thought that would also improve in the quality of implementation and also look at um, the sustainability of the activities we are doing in the communities. Because at the moment, it's very easy when you are funded and all this to have very good programs and really show that we are achieving what we intend to achieve. But immediately the funding ends. There's the danger that you go back maybe even to lower than where you started. Because you raise the momentum, then immediately the funding stops. You just slump down because like for the children, we have removed from child labor situation. Immediately there is no funding. These children could go back into worse situation after experiencing a better life. 
why the projects are short, that's also another uh, constraint. The donors, because ILO is not a financial institution, we work with donors countries in addition to our budget, regular budget, which comes from contribution of all the countries, members of the ILO. So the donors, they give a limit time and a limited uh, funds, except for long-term uh, program, what we call time-bound program, which take, can take five years, ten years. And also the donors want that the government, the social partner, contribute in terms of resources, financial and human resources. If these contribution are not uh, these contribution are not enough, the donor will say, okay, we, we stop, we have done our best, and then they should continue. This. So that's the real constraint we face, face, the management of the funds. And we do our best to reduce the bureaucracy, but there is a minimum for bureaucracy necessary so to have the fund used properly and reach the final targets. <laughs>